Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Tuesday in the ninth week after Pentecost. Let us pray. Grant to us, Lord, we pray, the Spirit to think and do always those things that are right, that we, who cannot exist without you, may by you be enabled to live according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, the fifth chapter, beginning at the 27th verse. When they had brought them, they had them stand before the council. The high priest questioned them, saying, We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you are determined to bring this man's blood on us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than any human authority. The God of our ancestors raised up Jesus, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, that he might give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. But a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up and ordered the men to be put outside for a short time. Then he said to them, Fellow Israelites, consider carefully what you propose to do to these men. For some time ago, Thutis rose up, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about 400, joined him, but he was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and disappeared. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up at the time of the census and got people to follow him. He also perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone, because if this plan or this undertaking is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. In that case, you may even be found fighting against God. They were convinced by him, and when they had called in the apostles, they had them flogged. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. As they left the council, they rejoiced that they were considered worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And every day in the temple and at home, they did not cease to teach and proclaim Jesus as the Messiah. Here ends the lesson. The Sanhedrin, or high priest and council, just wanted Jesus to go away. Jesus had caused enough trouble before his crucifixion, and now his pesky followers kept showing up and stirring the pot. They had previously tried to silence Peter and the other apostles, and yet here they were once again proclaiming Jesus. They just would not go away. The hatred of Jesus and all he represented must have been intense, as the chief priest could not even say his name, simply referring to him as this name. In an effort to minimize crowd reactivity to these itinerant preachers, the captain and the jail officers were sent to recapture the apostles with as little fanfare as possible. Under intense pressure from the religious authorities of the day, Peter reiterated a basic Christian core value or principle when he said, we must obey God rather than any human authority. While that was a bold statement for Peter to make, it is as important for us to remember today as it ever has been when facing a situation where human authority is in conflict with the commands of God. Although they could not hear it that way, Peter spoke the truth in love as he reminded the Sadducees of their guilt in the killing of Jesus. Had they been willing to hear what Peter was saying, they could have repented of their sin and received forgiveness. Although they could not hear Peter, they were willing to listen to the respected Pharisee Gamaliel, who spoke not in support of the church, 
but from insight into God's place as the supreme and ultimate authority. Gamaliel's point was that if the apostles acted under their own authority, they would ultimately fail. However, if what they were doing was from God, they risked finding themselves fighting against God. In a misguided effort to save face, the council had the apostles flogged and ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus. But in spite of the flogging and bloody beating, the apostles left the Sanhedrin rejoicing as they felt honored to suffer for the name of Jesus. Today's reading leaves us with some key questions to ponder. Under whose authority are we willing to live and die? How is it possible to rejoice while suffering in the name of Jesus? Are we willing to suffer if that is what God calls us to do? Let us pray. O God, our King, by the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, on the first day of the week, you conquered sin, put death to flight, and gave us the hope of everlasting life. Redeem all our days by this victory. Forgive our sins, banish our fears, make us bold to praise you and to do your will, and steal us to wait for the consummation of your kingdom on the last great day. Through the same, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday and 8 and 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings.